Hey Chem Team. Uh, so chemistry is just the study of matter and how matter changes. And matter is just the stuff that our universe is made from. Uh, so examples of matter would be things uh, like water, food, smoke, stars, rocks, etc. Uh, whereas things that are not matter would be things like uh, energy or forces or ideas. Now, uh, how you can test to see whether something is matter, um, you just see if it has the properties of matter. So if something is matter, it will have mass. Uh, that is, it's affected by gravity. Uh, and in order to determine whether something is affected by gravity, uh, scientists will use uh, balances. If something is affected by gravity, if it has mass, it will affect the balance. Uh, secondly, matter has volume. That is, it takes up space. And uh, to measure the volume of an object, uh, scientists will use a graduated cylinder. And so they can fill uh, the cylinder with water, they can drop the object into the cylinder, and they can see uh, how much water the object displaces, however much the water level rises. Uh, that's how much space the object takes up. Uh, and last, matter is made up of particles, uh, which are just tiny pieces. So matter can be broken down into smaller pieces. Uh, now, one of the smallest types of particles in our universe is the atom. Uh, and there's different types of atoms called elements, uh, which you can find on the periodic table. And when you clump these elements and atoms together, uh, you get molecules. So down here we've got an example of uh, three different molecules. Uh, this first example being uh, oxygen, O2, uh, that we breathe. Uh, here you might recognize two hydrogens and one oxygen making water. Uh, and last you've got uh, helium, the stuff you'd find in balloons. Uh, so if a chemist wanted to describe what uh, this water molecule is made from, uh, they could say that it's made of two different elements. Uh, two of its atoms are the element hydrogen, and one of its atoms is the element oxygen. Uh, and that's it. At this point, you guys have a couple of practice problems. We'll see you in class tomorrow.